So we're going to start working on this Promac 1010 and see if we've got enough parts between that saw and this saw to make a good one. So I took this air cover off. Let's see if I can get you guys set up where you can see. What's the view like? Not good. Not bad. Well, I'll just hold you for this video anyway. So I need to go get one of these wrenches here. Not handy dandy bastards. It's probably a 10 millimeter or smaller. It's probably actually a 5 16 but you can try it with a metric first. I'm going to go over to the standard set. There's the view there. You ain't bad right there. I'll be right back, guys. Well, found an 8mm socket. That'll work good enough. I don't actually have all my tools here yet. Yeah, I know. I'm wearing a pink sweatshirt. It's my fiance's. card plate off and see what we got here for carburetor hopefully something halfway decent that other carb on that promac is freaking pooched it's probably junk junk okay kind of what i thought this choke is pretty goobered So that linkage arm will probably have to come out at some point and get messed with. Man, that doesn't look like fun. Hi, Let's see if I can get these linkages off. Set you guys down again. I know the view ain't great, but you have to just trust me a little bit. Those linkages, of course, don't want to come off. I'm not going to break it, so. All right. I will have to do a little more research on how to get that properly apart. In the meantime, I'll focus on this. This has got the wrong screw in it, of course. So I will kind of just be up, it looks like. They're not in that great of shape. But if I can get one of them running... It'll be worth the headache, I guess. Be right back. I gotta go get an Allen. get a set of T-handles. T-handles would be nice. Yeah, see, that's a... That is not meant for that. Is that one of the proper screws? Yeah, this Promax got proper screws and a better recoil cover, so... That'll probably be going on this if I can get it running. Mmm, that's in there tight. Got it to pop, so I can get it to roll back the other way. 
There it goes. Some of the time it's better just to keep a more constant pressure on it for a little bit instead of just tweaking on it in one big go. I found anyways. Especially with these particular screws because they've been monkeyed. Monkeyed on a time or two by somebody that didn't know what they were doing. Kind of like myself, huh? I don't really know what I'm doing. These are my first Max. So we're going to see if we can get this this recoil freed up a little bit maybe get it to work good enough to pull the saw over at least maybe that other pro mac won't be as bad as i think and then we can have two old macs maybe i'm betting it i'm betting it's pretty pooched it feels pretty stuck This one at least turns over. It doesn't turn over that great, but I think part of that's the recoil. And part of it's it's been sitting, and the guy had it in the frickin' shed. You guys see all right? Yeah, you can see all right now. Just a little bit. Drop the screwdriver. That's a required part of working on chainsaws is dropping your tools in the dirt. Thankfully, I'm in the garage today, so I can't at least drop them in the dirt. Okay, put the tap, put the wheel. One of these isn't all the way out. Ah, there's one on the front, too. There's another reason not to just ruin some things. Otherwise, I'd have broke this cover. And this one's been monkey. Mm, worse than the others. Let's see if I can tip this saw up and get out at a better angle. Mm. Yeah. That one was put in there. And they didn't want it to come out. Mm. Okay. Take my rest out. This hammer I've been using. The camera rest. I can get you guys propped up on that. You can kind of see. There you go. I'll put some stuff in front here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this saw and hold it like this. And I got a wood handled screwdriver, so I don't have to worry about. Cracking the hand as long as I don't go crazy. And by tapping it, I might, and I did, I was able to shock it enough, knock some of the corrosion off the end of the screw or rust or whatever where I can get it out. Oh, another part. Drop the screws, right? Mechanics 101, you gotta drop stuff and you gotta not know where everything is. Oh yeah, that is, I'll bring you guys up there. That is just clear full of poo. This saw has been abused. I'll put you guys back down. There we go. That's better. So, this all looks really, really crusty. But, I don't have my air blower with me today. And my big compressor is not working. It's got a leak. So I'm going to dig a bunch of this out. And then 
I'm going to take all these recoil screws and push them back down in where they belong. And clean this cover as best as I can do with the tools I have here. And then I'm going to take some PV Blaster, since it's what I've got, and I'm going to spray it down on this cover after I clean it out. I'm going to clean it out first. I went ahead and decided I'm going to take this recoil cover off and if the spring doesn't come apart when I take it apart I will lube it up and put it back together. some more of them monkey screws. You can still see? Now you're pointing up in space. Mm, I'll come back to that one. That one's gonna come loose. gonna come loose. Sweet. What about you? We'll try tightening it up just a quarter. Maybe cracking the rest. Oh. Mm, yeah. That one's gonna have to get cracked again with a hammer. Take this down here to the leg vise here. <laughs> Sorry guys, my allergies are acting up this time of year. I might have to wait till I get my uh, tool to do that. I've got a tool where it's got a screwdriver bit, you put it on, and you smack the end of it and it turns, and it's like on a gear drive. So I might have to wait to take that apart. The saw seems to have fairly okay compression. I'm gonna wait on that. I've got most of the screws out of it, so I'm gonna just wait until I've got some more time where I won't break it. So what I'm gonna do now is take this plug out, if I can get it out. Another one of them off camera runs the toolbox. Or shall I say the tool bin currently. I currently don't have my toolbox here. I've got one of my little ones. <clears throat> yeah, that plug is pretty good. Go grab the PV blaster and spray some down the cylinder. You still with me? Hope so. So you just take your some PV and spray it down the cylinder hole. Yes, I know the clutch is missing a spring. Um, it was there when I bought it. I have it in my pickup because the spring broke on one side. So that's one of the pieces that I'm hoping the Promac has. It has all the clutch parts and the cover that I need. That's why I bought them both. The guy knew he had pretty junky saws. He wanted more money, but claimed he had offers for more money and I said well I'm here so take it or leave it 
We're also going to take some and spray it down the carb hole. What that does is that'll get it in the transfers. It has the potential to get it in the bearings and move the bearings up. See how much nicer the saw rolls over already? Take some and spray it in the recoil and get it in there. Run these screws back down. That way I don't break anything trying to pull it apart or try to pull it over anyway. Run these screws back in. On these old hard frames, you want to make sure the screws are tight, but don't break them because you might be, or don't get them too tight because they might be coming back apart. Because until you get it running, you don't know what the saw is going to need. You just want to get them tight where you know you can get them back out. I'm going to go ahead and take these, shove them back down in there better because they don't want to come all the way out. Yeah, see this? The spring in here is not wanting to spring. It does in just one spot, just a quarter of a turn. Which is why I'd like to get this cover apart. We're going to go after that monkey screw a little bit more. Put that back in the tray. Let's see if we can't get this monkey screw out. Oh, it came. See what I mean? Just let it sit there for a little bit. And I sprayed it with some TB Blaster a little bit. Yeah, see that? I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is clear full of dirt down here. And it's got a little bit of blue Loctite right there. So, they probably had a problem with the screws coming out. Which in a hard, hard frame saw like this, no anti-vibe on anything they vibrate and the screws come loose so check your screws every once in a while just after you run them just make sure all your basic screws are tight and in there like your recoil cover and your clutch cover screws and all that jazz so we're going to be careful taking this off so there's probably a little angry spring in here oh okay this is different than a yeah, this is real different. That's really, that's really the wrench that's in the toolbox and not on the bench. Yeah, it is, but I've got a socket. Head it out just a moment ago. Yep. I found that a lot of these old saws, the Sockets are all the same size, or the, the bolt heads are all the same size, so usually whatever wrench you start with is the wrench you need the whole day. At least in similar areas. So the reason I'm holding this down is because there should be a spring under here, I don't want that spring to come apart. Yeah, there's a spring in there. So what I'm going to do, spray that sucker down with some PB Blaster without actually taking it all the way off. I've still got it in that spline. And then what I'm going to do is use the rope, pull it over, and line it back up by hand. But it's not wanting to yet. It's not coming. And, you know, make sure I get my rope all kinds of messed up in the process. Yeah, see, I can hear that spring moving in there now. So that's a better sign. Pull that rope out. Get it. Just back where it was. Of course, I'm going to have to look at the front and see how the cover went. Like so. Yeah, just like that. So now I'm going to take this and spray some more in there. Now what I'm 
actually going to do is line that spring up real tight. Since I've got my rope cover off and the way these coas work, apparently, I can spring that spring a little tighter. Like I said, guys, these are my first max. So I bought them because I heard they cut good. And didn't want to try one out. The spring might be broken here too. I don't know yet. Could be. It doesn't feel that good. So we're going to go ahead and just take it all the way apart. And I hope it doesn't fling out of there at 100 miles an hour. Nope. Spring's all right. It's just really, really gummy. Really, really crumbed up. So... I'm going to leave that bad boy alone because that spring is way, way bigger than I thought. It is stupid long. Yeah, so we need to wind it. Yeah, see? It's coming. It's just wound up tighter than full of dirt, is what it is, dirt and sawdust. I'm going to mess with this for a little bit off camera and see if I can't get it to work. Okay, and we're back. So, I don't have the screws in this yet, but we're starting to get there, guys. It's starting to spring back a bit. I think it just needs to sit in some of that PV blaster for a bit. And I'm going to just put it back together right now the way it is. Find the screws. Like an idiot, I put them on the table and now they're claimed by the table. Or the wood pile, I should say. Currently, my workbench is a wood pile. I'll find them. Don't know where I put them at the moment. Nothing else for testing purposes. I'll rob the screws out of the Pro Mac over there. But I'm going to take a quick minute to look here. Really need a bolt bin here or something to catch all these little boogers. Well, I'll pause you guys. I'll put this back together. Okay. While well, being off camera, I went ahead and pulled the recoil off that other 1010. And it's almost mint. So, I'm going to put it on this 1010 automatic after cleaning it out. Another thing I also noticed is the ignition on this Pro Mac is a little bit nicer shape. Not by much, but a little than this one. This one might work, but I don't know. We'll see. This also looks like it might be electronic ignition. And sure enough, that motor is stuck. We will investigate why later. Now, we're going to put this very crusty recoil on. Let's talk about 
but I'm into this. No, it doesn't want to go on. There it goes. Okay. Like I said, guys, this is my first 1010, so I'm kind of new to this. This whole ordeal. But it also had the proper back screw in it on that saw. So we're gonna see what we got here. I'm gonna put all the screws in. Get them, at least three of them, nice and snug, and then we'll put the other two shorter ones in. It's jamming up. Oh well, we'll get her. Might have to take it apart and spray the PV blaster in there too. front screws. Okay, I'm going to pause you guys to get this put back on. Well, we have some off-camera findings. Roll the saw over and I have no spark, but we did get a recoil to work and retract, mostly. The saw has no spark plug in it, obviously. That's why the compression is not there. So, recoil is coming back off. And See if that coil's any good on that saw. My guess is probably not. Or the points are bad. I believe these are a point saw. And I don't have a flywheel puller here, so if that's the case, that will end our video for the day. Loosen all these bad girls up. And this is the recoil that was on this saw because put the other one on and it wasn't wanting to work. So I took it apart and ended up having to put the spring back in it because as soon as I took it apart, the spring flew out of it. Stayed on the cover side but came out of the little rope uh, metal piece that the rope rides in. Not sure what that's called. Yeah, been kind of a exciting afternoon. I bought some saws. I was hoping maybe I could have a couple runners, but oh, it's not looking good for the home team. Bought a couple Macs. I got a Pioneer bought. A couple home lights. Montgomery Ward that has no spark. It's looking like I'm going to have to be buying some parts, which kind of blows, but it is what it is. Let these recoils sit and some PB blasters as well. Help lube them up, get them to where they're actually working properly. Off bench it works, or off saw it works good. On saw it works like crap. Or it works and then it gets to there and it doesn't rewind like that. I don't know if I got a 
spring issue or if I didn't wind it tight enough. I don't know yet. Let's fight the issue at hand. Coil. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I, I can't even make this up. The switch is off. I remember that now because I couldn't move the switch. So now we're going to see about moving it. Okay, it is moving. So what I'm going to do is spray some EB blaster up there and move it back and forth with the pliers a couple times. Like I said, I can't even make that up, guys. That's so stupid of me. I didn't even think to check the switch because when I looked at the saws this morning, I said, oh man, them switches are stuck. I'm a little worried about that. Oh, I can just, there, now she's coming. Spray some more in there. Well, I guess we're going to put that recoil back on since it's the better of the two. And we're going to give that another go. Found out these are kind of a pain in the butt. It's the starter dogs on the flywheel side trying to stick so what I'm doing to remedy that is reaching in it since I have no shielding here anyway reaching in there and prying them both out one at a time okay now we can put a couple screws in it since again I'm just doing a spark test Put a couple in it. Get them snug. So the recoil doesn't come off. And then we'll give this another try. And hope and pray that it works. And that's what I needed. So that screw didn't go in its little hole. It's supposed to go in. It fell off to the side. 